iLogic helps you create rules-based models. The rules are embedded as objects in your part, assembly, and drawing documents. You use iLogic to drive your design based on changes to inventor parameter values. Open the iLogic bracket part in the Chapter 25 folder of the workspace. iLogic gives you a high level of automation without the need to know a programming language. All the tools for iLogic reside in the iLogic panel of the Manage tab on the ribbon. If the iLogic browser is not visible, click iLogic Browser in the iLogic panel on the ribbon. The iLogic browser displays the existing rules for the current document, forms in the current document, forms for use across multiple documents, and external linked rules. Right-clicking a rule in the iLogic browser enables you to run, edit, regenerate, suppress, or delete the rule. Right-click whole underscore rule, select edit rule, and the edit rule whole underscore rule dialog box is displayed. In the edit rule dialog box, the rule editor contains the code for the current rule. The snippets area lists several command functions grouped by type that can be inserted for ease of use. The Model tab displays all the feature of the part or assembly, giving you quick access to items like model parameters, user parameters, feature names, and feature variables. Shortcuts to conditional statements, keywords, and operators also make creating the rules for your design easy. Cancel the dialog box. Creating a new rule simply requires that you click Add Rule in the iLogic panel and define the rule. It is recommended but not necessary to name the rule without any spaces. In the rule name dialog, type rib underscore rule and click OK. By using the shortcuts to conditionals, the syntax for the logic appears. Click the conditional dropdown and select if then end if. The my expression is a placeholder to be replaced with whatever logical rule you need. Double click my expression to highlight the text. Double clicking a snippet to create the change places it into the code. Expand the parameter snippet list in the system tab of the snippets panel. Double click parameter dynamic and it replaces the highlighted text. Finding a variable name is also inserted by double clicking. Selecting a model feature displays the variable of that feature and adds the feature name to the names list so that it can be added to the code without typing the name. Double click D0 in the editor window to highlight it, then select model parameters in the model tree above and double click base underscore length in the parameters tab to the right. Place the cursor in the space below then in the editor window, then right click flange underscore thickness in the parameters tab and select Capture Current State. Creating additional conditions and using copy-paste functionality can speed the creation of rules. Click OK and if the rule is valid, you are returned to the modeling environment. If not, then a Rule Compile Error dialog appears. Once a rule is complete, edit parameters and watch the changes. Click Parameters in the Parameters panel on the ribbon. Click the Less button, then click the Filter button and select Key from the Flyout menu. In the case of the rules that we have already in this part, the mass variable for the maximum load is driving the width. Change the mass to 400 pounds and watch the model change. It is a good practice to keep the rules simple and build them up to create the logic necessary for your designs.